Hey trader welcome back to MFS Trading. With this new indicator on TradingView you will never miss a profitable opportunity again. This tool provides clear buy and sell signals with profit targets based on trendline breakouts. In this step-by-step -step tutorial I will teach you how to use this indicator correctly. As well as give you a full trading strategy with it. That will make you consistently profitable. This technical analysis tool can be used for trading volatile cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stocks Futures and Forex pairs. The most optimal time frames for this indicator are 5 and 15 minutes, 1 hour and 4 hours. So please make sure you stay focused throughout this video so you don't miss anything important and understand this strategy perfectly. Before starting today's video, you can support us by using the links below the description or you can also join Telegram to receive free daily signals. Let's get right into the video in this trading strategy. To install this indicator on your chart login to your TradingView account and open any market. Currently I am viewing the Ethereum price chart on the 15 minute time frame. Open the indicators and search for trendline breakouts with targets. Select this one by chart prime. The trendline breakouts with targets indicator is carefully crafted to improve trading decision making. By accurately identifying trendline breakouts and breakdowns through pivot point analysis. Upon the detection of a breakout or breakdown a signal is thoroughly assessed against a false signal condition. After which the indicator instantly generates a trading signal. Additionally it performs precise calculations to determine potential target levels. And then displays them graphically on the price chart. These features make this tool unique from all trendline indicators on TradingView. Let's look at how we can use this indicator in practice. The trendline breakouts with targets indicator draws an upper trendline when the market makes lower highs. As soon as the price bar closes above the trendline, the indicator issues a buy signal with a profit target based on market volume. If the price reaches the target the label becomes green. You can choose to follow these targets or set your own. The logical idea is to take a partial profit once price reaches the indicator target. Let the rest of the position remain open until the price triggers a trailing stop loss. When the price makes higher lows the indicator draws a lower trend line. If the price breaks below this line the indicator gives a sell signal. A recommended target is also displayed on the chart. In the indicator settings you can customize the period and trend line length. Changing the period number to a higher value makes the indicator less sensitive to price changes. Hence you'll receive less signals. Extending the lines further can be useful for particular trading strategies. Let me show you what I mean. For example let's set this number to 50. Now we can use trend lines to get a better price when opening a trade. Let's say a lower trend line gets broken and a sell signal is given. Instead of opening a sell trade here you now have the option to wait for the market to retest the trend line. If you see the market struggling to break above it. You can initiate a short trade at this price and catch more pips. You can apply the same strategy to long entries too. For example here the indicator produced a buy signal. This price for opening a long trade isn't bad however. If you had waited and opened the position at the trend line retest you would have gotten a better deal. Taking into account a long-term market bias is VIT to eliminate fake breakout. You see, when the market is controlled by buyers a trend line breakdown is just a short retracement before another significant price increase. As a result, opening a trade at this time is very risky as you bet against the market. Emma with the length set to 200 or VWAP can solve this problem. There are many indicators that work great with trend line breakouts with targets. These are mainly price action tools and oscillators. For example, let's apply order blocks with signals by Sonar Lab. Open the indicator settings and change the sensitivity to 40. Hide order block borders to make the chart look clean. This powerful indicator displays order blocks on the chart. 
In other words areas where traders are interested in buying or selling the security. These areas often affect the future price. For instance if a bullish order block is strong. The market will find support around it. The more pending buy or sell orders are concentrated in the order block the stronger it becomes. A strong order block is more difficult to break. So how do we spot such order blocks? By looking at this indicator we can see that some order blocks appear alone. Typically these order blocks are considered insignificant. The price may respect them in the short run but in the long run they will get broken. On the other hand order block that appear together at the same price are considered stronger. Take a look at how often price respects these price levels. It is not a coincidence. Now with the information you have learned so far. You can combine the order blocks with signals and trend line breakouts with targets indicators into one highly effective strategy. This strategy is designed to trade like big institutions. You don't need to be an expert to apply this strategy. All you need to do is listen carefully to what I'm about to show you. Let's start with how to open a long trade with this method. First look for the market to approach a strong bullish order block. The order block retest may occur more than once. The more the price revisits it the better. Next examine the price action to make sure buyers have initiated their orders at the order block. The market must show signs of bullet momentum one of the best signs is when the price makes higher lows. It's good that we have this trendline breakout indicator as it connects highs and lows. It makes it easier to see when the market starts showing positive momentum. For final confirmation look for a break of the upper trend line. Place a stop loss below the order block. Target is two times the risk. The stop loss should be moved to break even once the price reaches the indicator target. For short trades look for the market to approach a strong bearish order block. The more order blocks are present at the same price the better. The following step is to analyze price action. The market must show signs of selling pressure. Selling pressure is evident when the price starts making lower highs. For ultimate confirmation look for a lower trend line break. Set the stop loss above the order block. For take profit the target is two times the risk. The stop loss shall be moved to break even once the price hits the indicator target. Traders I hope you understand this trading strategy. If you have any interesting ideas or indicators please write them down in the comments. Traders if you enjoyed today's video leave a like to it and subscribe to MFS trading channel. Good luck for you.